Now, last year, when Prince William personally delivered Deborah her damehood, that was an absolute first, she described it as a memory my family will treasure forever. Well, in the last couple of minutes, he sent us and, and Dame Deborah and all of her family a very personal and very special message. Hi, Lorraine. Just want to say a big thank you to you and your team for all you're doing to raise awareness around bowel cancer through your No Butts campaign. As you know, I got to meet Dame Deborah, so I know how important this was to her. 46,000 people in the UK get diagnosed each year with bowel cancer, and yet many of us don't know the signs and symptoms of bowel cancer, particularly in us men. So if you're watching this, please take a second to listen and learn about the signs and symptoms of bowel cancer. It could save your life. Oh, thank you, Prince William. That was incredible. And I'm so delighted to see Adele Roberts, who was diagnosed, I'm sure as you know, with bowel cancer in October 2021. She was only 42. She is rejoining our campaign this year and joins me now alongside her partner, Kate. Great to get the Royal Seal of Approval. Wow, you just got a shout out from Prince no, William. That's oh, pretty cool, cool isn't it? <laughs> that's pretty cool. I mean, you've interviewed him before, you've spoken to him before, and he actually sent you a message of support when you were diagnosed. Yeah, he checked in and I, I couldn't believe it. You know, I'm sure he's very busy, got lots of things to do, but that's how much he cares about this campaign it's and great, about people it? just being aware. Yeah. You look really well. How are you doing? Thank you. Much better than the last time I saw I you. Know, um, no. Yeah, so starting to just get my life back together and um, just trying to get a little bit fitter, doing a little run this weekend. Just yes, a little little jog, <laughs> the London Marathon. Yeah. My goodness me, that is incredible. It really is. I mean, the training is hard. Yeah. You've been very supportive, Kate. Not actually doing it, but you will be there. I'm really good at cheering on. <laughs> cheering on is very important. Eating sandwiches on the sidelines. Hugely important. Making signs, all, yeah. all that. Couldn't uh, do it without that. <laughs> Couldn't do it without that no. at all. You're doing amazing, aren't you? No, it's great. And your face are still getting checkups. But you're, yeah. but you're doing okay. Yeah, totally. So, funnily enough, the day after the marathon, I've got a CT scan. Right. Just to check that everything's okay and the cancer's not come back. Right. Um, but, yeah, um, I just wanted to do the marathon just to sort of, like, reiterate what Dame Deborah said, you know, rebellious hope. Yeah. And I feel like it's my way of standing up to the cancer and just saying, no more, please, I've had mm -hmm. enough. Yeah, exactly. And um, how is Audrey? Who is always with you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she lives inside my pants. Um, my stoma, Audrey. She's a big fan of yours, Lorraine. She's been very excited this morning, but she's behaving so far. <laughs> and she's got... I think it's hilarious, because you know you get your number for the marathon. Audrey's got the same, except a little yes. mini version. Look! <laughs> How cute is that? That is brilliant. It's fantastic. And you will... You want to be the fastest who's ever run with this stoma yet. yeah because when i was trying to find tips online of how to train with a stoma because yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. different of course uh, i couldn't really find much information and uh, i also just thought oh i'll just see if anybody's ever set a guinness world record and they right. hadn't so oh. um we're gonna go for it it's Absolutely. really difficult with your um, digestion isn't it so for yeah. marathon you have to be really careful with that hydration and your fuel of course. with a stoma it's kind of like you've got half a digestive system yeah. oh, so yeah. right so i never even thought about that but of course it impacts on everything doesn't it yeah absolutely, absolutely. does now look we're so glad that you're back on board both of you with the campaign and i know that you went out to meet three very inspirational people who are living with bowel cancer mm -hmm. let's have a look i feel like we've all experienced all the symptoms but mainly for me the thing that made me go to the doctor was noticing blood in my poo and at first it like a bit of mucus and then it started to be blood. And then I was like, this isn't normal for me. What were the main ones for you? There was blood in my poo. Uh, I was also going to the toilet quite a lot of times during the day, probably about six, seven times a day. And, and Sophie, for you, it's quite a dramatic change in terms of weight. Yeah, it was weight loss initially first, dramatic change in weight loss. It wasn't lethargic, didn't have any pain. It just literally was changing bowel habits for me. I yes. think sometimes we almost don't talk about it to ourselves yeah. as well. We ignore our normal habits, don't mm -hmm. we? So it's mm -hmm. important even talking about it to yourself. Yeah. yeah. Three weeks after Kate started noticing she'd been going to the toilet more, she decided to head to her GP and was diagnosed with stage two bowel cancer. After an operation, she is now cancer free. Kate, you know how important this campaign is, No Buts. It helped you directly. Yeah, yeah it definitely did. When it, I was diagnosed, it was the same time as Dame Deborah. Don't feel embarrassed about it. Yeah. I think probably before I would have been much more reserved about it. It's not my normal topic of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Salve realised something wasn't right and went to his doctors. He was diagnosed with bowel cancer in his 40s. He's been in remission since 2021. 
Sal, you're somebody that's had to hear you've got cancer twice. The world becomes a lonely place when you hear the words, you have cancer. Nobody knows our bodies like we know them. So I thought, I think I need to get this checked out. Sophie was diagnosed with bowel cancer in her 30s. While she now has no active cancer in her body, she lives with two permanent stomas. That must be a lot of Double work. trouble. Yeah. yeah. Twins. Twins. Naughty yeah. twins. <laughs> you can do everything you wanted to do before. Yeah. You know, and they save me. They're saving me. Do you know, just seeing Adele speaking to all three of you today, as much as I understand, like, she's never, you know, been able to have that conversation like she has today, so thank you, and that no, will make you. a huge difference. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, we don't think our partners poo, vice versa. <laughs> do you poo? <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was fantastic, wasn't it? <laughs> to, to talk to people and their different experiences and to hear that and to hear that you can still go on to your life even with a double stoma. You can yeah, still yeah. do things. It's fantastic. It really is. Sometimes, though, it's really hard for the person that's going through it, obviously, really tough, but for the family. And it's been hard for you, hasn't it, Kate? It's been, it's been difficult. It is hard. And I was saying to Adele, it's, it's, it takes a long time to kind of know that it's okay to say it's hard as well. It feels kind of weird with everything that Adele's gone through. Of course. Because uh, you just want to take it away from them and you just don't want them to have to go through that on their own. And no, you, of course. you just feel like you want to help them and be involved. And that was my worst fear, that Adele would feel like she was on her own. So I think we've just really tried to do everything together, yeah. haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I, th I think also, you know, I know it's a cliche, but that doesn't matter. But it does bring you closer together. I mean, I know you love each other very much, but the, the love deepens somehow, you know, yeah. in a way, mm -hmm. um, because you've gone through this both together. Yeah, I mean, thank God she's still sat here because she's seen so much of me, Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> she really loves me. <laughs> no, it's me. It's yeah. really good. And, that, and having that support is good because, you know, a lot of people who are living with cancer talk about feeling lonely. Mm. Even when they're with the people that they love, it can be very isolating, can't it? That was, that's why it was so lovely for me to meet Salve and Sophie and yeah. Kate. It felt like old friends and they knew exactly what I'd been through. Yeah. So thank you for that opportunity. No, it was, it was lovely. It was just... You all, uh, just before we started filming, they all went on a group trip to the toilet together. So, you Did know, you? Yeah, that experience. <laughs> <was> Bonding experience. <laughs> <laughs> That's way to break the ice. And just everybody to... But it's good. That's what we're trying to do here, yeah. isn't it? To just take all that silliness away and we can talk about anything and it really, and it really helps. It really does. And it helps having both of you on, on board. So thank you so much. Thank you. And don't forget, you can download our No Butts leaflet from the website shows you all the signs and symptoms of bowel cancer to be aware of. And finally, and this is great, I just wanted to congratulate Steve Bland and his wife Amy because they have welcomed twins, Ruby Hope Claire and Luca Jackson Matthew. And how cute are they? Of course, Steve's been a massive, massive supporter of this. Great friend of, of Dame Deborah. They did that wonderful podcast together. Mm -hmm. So that's good news. We like that a lot. I better start knitting. <laughs> <laughs> hats and scarves and blankets and all sorts of things. Thank you both so much.